MLB The Show tips here. We're talking about Bryce Harper's stock. Will it go up? Will it go down? And what will change come Monday? We created this graphic last Monday to show you how he went from an 85 to an 87. So you see his stats from two weeks ago on the bottom, 85 overall. Everything stayed the same except one column, which was the speed on the far right. Went from a 55 to a 73, and that was enough to give him a plus two. So what will it take to get him another plus one, two, or more? We're going to talk about that, and what will that do to his value? Because his price has been all over the place in Diamond Dynasty. If you've been following along, you know it's been between 11,000 and like 19,000 this weekend as he's hit something like six home runs in the last three or four games, and he's just been the best hitter in baseball. He's been clutch, the walk-offs. I mean, it's been crazy, which is just what he is. I mean, he is a huge phenom talent. The question is, can he keep this together. So you even see the sell now. The demand is there. It's at 15,000, which is crazy because a lot of you guys probably picked him up for 5,000 at the, you know, at the highest. Maybe some of you even had him for 1,000 or 2,000 when he was still a silver a couple weeks ago when the game came out. So if he gets an upgrade, I think we're going to see some major hitting stats change. For instance, the contact's going to go up above an 80 in probably both categories. And the power against lefties, especially from a 51, is going to go up pretty significantly if he gets the entire upgrade. Let me be clear. I don't know if Bryce Harper is going to get the big upgrade Monday, May 11th. I think it's possible he only gets a plus one or nothing at all. And it's all about timing and how these guys plug in these live rosters. Right now, by the way, Bryce Harper is listed as a left fielder. He's been playing right field, as many of you know. So right now, this is where he is. He's overvalued for the price and for his overall right now. I mean, he's he, he has no business being at 17000 But when you compare him to the right fielders, and he does have a good arm, it's much more of a comparison to Yasiel Puig, who is a 90 overall. So you're paying an 87 overall the same price as a 90 overall. So if Bryce Harper gets an upgrade or doesn't, it's going to really impact his price. So here's how we think it'll do it. If there's no upgrade or just a plus one, I think he's going to stay right around this 15 to 17. He's not a 90 overall like Puig is. He's going to be three overall points below Puig. And that's if Puig stays at where he is. And if you check out our other YouTube video, I think Puig could take a minus one this week for being on the DL, DL as long as he has. However, if Harper gets a plus two or more, he goes from an 87 to an 89 or even a 90, I think we're looking at a 20 plus uh, 1,000 stub player here and I think you want to cash in on Monday as soon as those ratings come out because how on earth is Bryce Harper going to match what he's just done this weekend again I don't see it happening so cash in so as the ratings change and the rosters update on Monday May 11th make sure you're following us on Twitter at MLB the show underscore tips we'll be back with more and make sure you subscribe here for more great video tips